Hey guys, I have a warlock build for you and I am pretty sure you will like it when you try it. Why should you try this build you might ask? Well, it provides everything you need for in-game activities like Nightfall, Solo Legend Lost Sectors from which you can get the new exotics for Beyond Light, Raids and of course normal Destiny 2 activities in general. So let's dive into it. My name is Wes, thank you for tuning into the channel and your viewership means a lot. This build is extremely good because of these exotic gauntlets for the Warlock, Necrotic Grip. If you don't have this for your Warlock, I have a video that shows you how to get it very easy. Link will be in the description. Anyway, the intrinsic perks, Grass of the Devourer, is on the screen right now. But let me summarize this for you. It's doggone amazing. On a serious note though, the way it works when you melee an enemy, that enemy gets poison. If that enemy dies, the poison will spread to the other nearby enemies. This create a chain effect and you also get your melee energy back. So when there's lots of enemies coming at you, it's a good idea to use your melee and let the magic happen. What if you don't like to get in the enemy's face? Well, this is where the Dawnblade subclass, the top tree, comes in. You have Celestial Fire, that's on the top tree Dawnblade, and that's your melee, which you can use at a distance so you can avoid being in the enemy's face. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but if you want to play safe, you know the deal. For this build, you can also use the exotic Hankin and Thorn to proc the perks for Necrotic Grip. But with Thorn, you have to make sure you kill the enemy with the bullets from the gun, not the poison from the gun. So bear that in mind if you are going to use Thorn to take advantage of the perks for Necrotic Grip. However, we are not using Thorn. We are using Monte Carlo for this build because Monte Carlo lets you recharge your melee by just doing damage to enemies. So with Monte Carlo, as long as you are shooting the enemies, you are getting your melee back faster, thereby giving you more charge melee to repeat the process of poisoning the enemies. This is by far the greatest synergy for this build. Now that you know the exotics that work great with this build, and you also know the two exotics that we want to use for this build, it's time to go over the moving pieces, including the mods that we are going to use to make interesting. So let's take a look at the character screen. Okay guys, yes we are using the Dawnblade and we are going to use the top tree and as we talk about the Celestial Fire is going to be key for this build. Now let's go over the pieces first. For the helmet, I am using Global Rich and I am also using a Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder as well as some Sword Ammo Finder and I put some Discipline. But this is going to be dependent upon what you are trying to do, what is best fit for you. So those are the options and at least I have this right here, it's, this is very important. Now for the Gauntlet, which is the main part of the build, the Necrotic Grip and the way I martyred this. I put a super charge in there and you will get like four stacks of charge with light to use for your melee. And I'm also using the overload round. That's for end game activity. And we'll talk about this uh, later. And I'm also put some discipline there. So it depends on how many energy you have. And then that's how you're going to mark it. At least you get the most important part of the piece. Now for the chest piece. I am using taking charge. This is by far one of the easiest way to get charged with light in the game just by picking up orbs. So I always try to put that on my build. And I am also using concussive depreneur that's for reducing incoming area to effect damage from enemies. So if you can put that on there, make sure you do in every build that you make. That will help you out. And then I'm also putting the sniper damage resistance because some of the enemies from a long distance sometimes they can hit you especially when you are doing stuff like nightfall you know solo loss sector and stuff like that and then of course i put some discipline points in there but as you know in the new system you can put less uh, that way you know you don't go overboard you don't have 120 discipline where other stats are lacking so you know just remember that and for the legs I am using heavy handed. This is a very good piece for the bill because as you can see, it says while charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you use a charge melee ability that consumes one stack of charge with light. And also you have a second part of this piece. 
It says, while surrounded by multiple combatants, defeating a combatant with a fusion rifle, shotgun, sidearms, or submachine gun as ammo for that weapon to your reserve. So if you happen to be using one of those weapons for this build, then that will help out. So because the build can be versatile, you can use different weapons. So this is very good. But you got to make sure you use an, an arc mod on there as well. And I use this one because it's probably one of the better ones for this build because it synergizes with the build it says it reduce melee cooldown each time you pick up an orb of power so you never know when you might have an orb of power so make sure you pick them up and then for the class item i choose blast radius but you can choose something different you can even choose the sustain charge because you're using an an auto rifle but you don't have to i go with blast radius because i'm gonna use a grenade launcher in the build which can be interchangeable and also i am using thermal overload that's part of the artifact for the season 12 season of the hunt so i'm gonna go over the artifact and show you exactly where you find this and of course i'm putting some more discipline there again you can decide to put strength or you know whatever else you feel like you want to put there but i put discipline because i like to have those grenades because they're very important especially in certain activities in the game so go let's go over the artifact real quick so i can show you where we found uh that piece it's right here terminal overload so when you're doing your artifacts it makes you pick this up and the reason why you pick this so that's for end game activity solar and stasis grenades cause disruption delaying ability regeneration and lowering combatant damage output it's strong against overload champions for those overload champions in those lost sectors and nightfall and stuff like that this is why it's important to have this in your build now let's go over the weapon now again like i said in the beginning we are using monte carlo and the reason why you're using the monte carlo it's for the spark the weapon damage reduces melee ability cooldown and you can see as long as you're shooting the enemy you will get your melee back real faster and it will make things a lot easier and better for us and that's the first option for using again like i said you can use thorn if you decide to but make sure that if you are going to use th thorn you don't let the enemy get killed by the poison but you got to make sure you shoot them with your gun that way they die and then that will take effect and uh for the energy slot i am using martyr's retribution a grenade launcher but you can also use the new grenade launcher deafening whisper you know so because we're using blast radius so we can get charged with light whenever we use it this is a very good one because for this one i have uh auto loading holster this makes it very good when i switch to the monte carlo then it recharge it, it reloads automatically so that's very good and i am also using demolitionist and i get some grenades again the grenades you need to throw those grenades it's always good now that's one option for the energy slot but i will go back to show you some other option you can use and then for the power slot I'm using the seven surf so but this is not you know end all be all you got to use whatever you have and whatever you can that's for dps you know for using boss damage and stuff like that i can use this because it's a very good one but you can also use a grenade launcher you can also use your sword you can also use the linear fusion rifle so you have options because you're using an exotic in the kinetic slot so you have plenty of option to use for legendary you know and you can switch things around it if you don't want to use monte carlo but monte carlo is really important to the build but if you don't want to use it you know you can you know choose to use something different now as far as the energy slot you can also use the Achilles uh, smg because it is very good and it's got demolitionists on it and it also create war mine cell and that's part of the reason why we put global rich on there that way when we create war mine cells you know we can use the war mine cells to kill all the enemies in the room and that makes the build a lot more better so that is it for the solar subclass if you're using with the solar but say for instance you want to use stasis what you, you can use stasis with this build there's not going to be much changes so this is what let's look at this stasis one so with the stasis you can choose whatever makes you happy whatever you like as far as you know the fragment that you can choose just choose the best for you and that's what I'm, that's all i'm gonna say about that and then the best grenade is dust field grenade but you know that's just preference and 
when you're using it for the weapon that we are going to use, we can, we're going to still use Monte Carlo. We can also use this and we can also use the SMG and we can also use a, a lot of other options. As long as we got the Monte Carlo in the build, then everything else is fair game. But now go over to the armor if you are, if you are going to go into your stasis. I'm still leaving this if I want, but I can switch this. I'm going to switch this because we don't really need this anymore if I'm going to use stasis because it's all about freezing stuff. So I am going to use the close of Ahamkara because that gives you an extra melee charge and it makes freezing enemy very fun. And that's all you got to do to change the build around to stasis. You don't have to do anything else. You can if you want to, but pretty much everything is set if you choose to do that. So that means it's a 2 for one in this build, so everything will look good. And you will be happy. You will have fun. That's going to be good. Anyway, guys, this is it for the build. I hope you found something interesting in the build, and I hope you tried this build. If you happen to try this build or if you have any question, just please let, let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know what, you know how you using it and if it works for you and you know if you make changes and just let me know i would be much appreciated thank you guys for watching i will see you guys later